What's going on guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Tesla and how it actually hit $600 in after hours on Fridays. Now, if in case you didn't know, this is a huge deal for Tesla because we broke that 600 barrier mark. Although we did push back down and it closed at below $600, but we still hit it and this could be an indicator what is to come for the following week. Now before we get into this video guys, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because it really helps my channel grow. And if you want to see any specific video about anything related to the stock market, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than happy to make that video before you. Now let's get right into this analysis and break down what Tesla is probably going to do next week and also where some levels we're looking at. Now I'm te I'm really on the one hour time frame right now. I'm normally on the four hour time frame, but I just wanted to I switched to the one hour mainly because I wanted to show you that we hit sixteen uh, six hundred dollars in after hours. Now I do have my extended hours on. Now the way you do that in trading view is just hit this EXT if you didn't know. And like I said, guys, look right here, we hit six hundred dollars in after hours, and we weren't able to close. At six hundred dollars, we actually closed at what was that five ninety eight. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. But something important I want you to look at, guys. I don't know if y'all see this too, but look what I'm about to chart out right here. Notice how we've been just consolidating at this area on Friday and also the end of Thursday. Look, it's been it was pretty boring, you know, on Friday. It was actually really boring on Friday for Tesla. We didn't have that action that we normally have where we're used to where we have these huge swings we've just been consolidating so this is also why i said it's important that tesla hit the 600 dollars in after hours and why i'm not actually worried that we've had this pullback now i don't know how many of you are familiar with this pattern but this is support and resistance and we're actually going horizontal now what happens when we go horizontal is it means that we're gearing up for something big now we did get that breakout guys so if you were actually looking at this on the one hour time frame and trading this you could have got your entries at support and uh sold at resistance you would have made a quite a lot of money because that's 589 to 598 and depending if you're in option contracts that's a huge move but anyways guys let's talk about this pattern for a second so we have a support line now if y'all don't know what support is i have a playlist education playlist that breaks this down for you but i'll go over brief i'll go over brief explanation so that's where stocks typically bounce at and resistance is where stocks typically get rejected at and we can use this to trade now when we have this breakout with support resistance we break out and this is an important part guys this is why i said this this breakout and pullback wasn't really concerning this is actually still a bullish sign we test this this old resistance as a new support so you notice how that sellers came in each time and we got rejected look what happens here guys we break out there are no sellers whatsoever we get above it and now what we're looking at for monday is a quick little retest and we just gap and go guys so that's what i'm looking that's why i'm so excited right now for monday and the next you know following days is because of this breakout right now i think we're about to break out and head for all-time highs we're going to blast right through this 607 that we did hit before Notice how though, look, this is also some, something important you need to implement in your trading and also learn to recognize. Notice how we hit this level right here and we came screaming down. We just came screaming down. Notice how we hit this level and came screaming down. But guys, this is the difference. This is what you need to look at for any type of stock. We got here and we didn't come screaming down. I know this is after hours, so it doesn't really technically count. But look, we hit this area of 600. We didn't come screaming down. So this tells me that there are not any sellers at this level, or there's not a lot of sellers compared to this level right here. So this is why I think Tesla, we're going to see that breakout next week, guys. We're going to see all-time highs once again on Tesla. I know this is crazy, but we're going to see it. I'm bullish for Tesla. I actually am holding some calls. And if you're holding calls, you know, let me know what your plays are. Let me know what your strike price is and your expiration because I'd love to see what you are in. And if you're holding puts, let me know too. That's completely fine, guys. We all see different things. But what I'm seeing right now is a breakout. We're, we're breaking out. It's plain and simple. And so going to the session on Monday, and y'all can look at this too. You can be following Tesla on Monday too if you're in it, definitely. But let's see if we hold this support line. If we hold the support line, guys, get in for that entry because we're rocking and rolling. 
we're heading back, you know, the sky is the limit with Tesla. We could head to 620. Shoot, we could even, you know, people were saying 700 by the S&P uh, 500 inclusion. The inclusion's on December 21st, if y'all didn't know. And that's not out of the water. Tesla, is, it's got that cult-like following, guys. We had those retail traders where we just push it up. And so we could see $700 by the inclusion. However, that's a little stretch. But, like I said, anything's possible, guys. And especially with Tesla, if there is one stock to do it, it's going to be this one right here. And I'm really excited. I'm really pumped up for what's going to be happening on Monday. Just because I am holding some calls over the weekend. And then I'm looking for that breakout above. But I just want to post this little quick little video for you for this analysis on Tesla. And if you enjoy these type of analysis, just let me know by liking this video or putting a comment. I really do appreciate all the comments that you do give. And I read each and every one. And I try to reply to every one. And if you don't agree with me, that's okay. We all have our own opinion and we all chart differently. That's fine. You can put that in the comments below. It's not going to hurt my feelings. But anyways, I hope to see you all in the next video. And like I say, subscribe. Put those post notifications on because I will be posting more analysis on different stocks, including Tesla. So I will see you all in the next video.